being here. Uh, there is this new movie coming out. It's called The Amateurs, and it has a wild premise. It's about a small town pitching in to make an amateur adult film. And it stars Jeff Bridges, uh, Ted Danson, and our first guest tonight, William Fickner. Watch this. Uh, it takes a lot of people to make a movie. There's lots to do. Do you, do you have some idea what you'd like to do? I'd like to watch. Well, you know, you, you know about this movie film stuff, Andy. I, is there a guy when you're making a movie mm -hmm. who just stands around? There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome William Fickner. Hey. Thank you. Now, do you prefer to be called uh, William, Willie, Bill, Billy, Bill? <laughs> Bill, I think, would be the one you would Bill, I'll go, me on. we're going to go with Bill today. Bill, okay, all right. That's what you always were and everything. Do people get to say that a lot? They call you William? Professionally? Well, professionally, I use William in everything that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. for credits, I use William. Uh -huh. Except for Prison Break, the first time that Prison Break aired, the very first show that went on television, it had Bill Fickner, and I was like, you can't do that. It's William. But, yeah, so you had him But everybody was just, you know, you know, you meet me on set, and we talk and work, and it's Bill. And so now that we wasted two minutes on your, on your uh, name <laughs> there. Uh, all right, Bill, so, and we'll get to prison break here in just a moment, but I want to talk about the movie Amateurs. So do I. That you were, uh, that you were here to talk to me about. And um, now, did you ever think that at this late stage in your career, you'd get involved in porn? Um, well, I, I, I started in porn, so it's nice to come back. No, oh, it's full circle. It's, <laughs> uh, now, explain what, what the tie-in is to, to porn. Well, it's, the it's six um, little losers in a small town that follow their, you know, their leader, uh, Andy Sargenti, played by Jeff Bridges. And Andy has ideas to, to help us all, you know, to, uh, you know, let's comes up with schemes or, or something we can invest our money in and they usually fail horribly and this time he decided that we needed to make the first adult full-length small town feature pornography film and uh... What, what a great idea I, it is a great idea and, and the, the thing about the film is that when you see the film it's it's there's nothing lewd about it it's really just you know it's got a tremendous amount of heart and it's really about the journey yeah, and it actually ends up being kind of a love story. I mean, I've seen the film and everything, yeah. and it's kind of—it's very sweet. You've yeah. seen it? I have seen it. Nice. I have seen it. As a matter nice. of fact, um, I thought Ted Danson was absolutely hilarious. Unbelievable. In it. Well, you know, isn't it true? The first time that I saw a screening of the film, that there's so many actors in it that that what they do in this film was probably like my favorite thing I'd ever seen them do. Like Joey Pantoliano playing some idiot. He's just incredible. Right. Right. Um, and and Jeff is amazing. And Ted, you know, playing Moose is. Mm -hmm. And who's the guy from uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I can't remember his Tim name. Tim Blake Nelson. Yeah, yeah. Always funny and everything yeah. he's in. And matter of fact, we had John Turturro on the show last week. Yeah. And, uh, and we were talking about Steve Buscemi's teeth. Do you have an opinion on Steve Buscemi's I, teeth? I, I don't. I should, though. Next time I come back, I'm yeah. going to get yeah, a Yeah, form, form, formulate an opinion and get back to us on that. <laughs> okay, uh, Bill, there, there, you've been in so many things other than this, this new movie, The Amateurs, which is opening. Uh, West Wing, you've been in The uh, Longest Yard, Pearl Harbor, Armageddon, Blades of Glory. You're in that uh, quiz show, Black Hawk Down, A Perfect Storm, and, of course, Prison Break, which has very close Dallas ties because you guys shoot in Dallas. Yeah, I right? shot the entire second season and now the third. And do, do you live in Dallas? I, I commute weekly. I have an apartment literally right around the corner but uh, from the, the studio here. Uh, but I live in L.A. I recently moved to L.A. like a year and a half ago, so I, I, I moved into my house in L.A. and took the job for prison break like a week later so I, I commute every week and you what was the movie you played some blind guy in something or another I have contact. a vague memory yeah contact that's right yeah. you're great in that too Thank you. you've been a very very uh, successful actor that everyone probably knows your face but not not everybody knows whether to call you William or Bill. I, I, I get a lot of you're that dude <laughs> so that's uh... and and in my extensive research because anyone who watches this show knows that I'm into research uh, <laughs> People are laughing here, Gordon. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what that's it's... about. But I, I was shocked to find out that you had a birthday this week, and you were 51 years of age today. And I can't. You're so fit. 
That's what I mean. I'm just I'm embarrassed. You know, here I am. I, I've got basically a half tire around the belly. You know, if my Hyundai breaks down, I can use what's around my belly to get. Well, let me tell you something. You could you could answer that. You could take care of that. And it's right down the street here. My favorite gym I've ever been to, the downtown Dallas YMCA. Uh huh. Is that the one you use? Absolutely. I take a walk there every day when I'm here. So do people bug you when you're working out? No, no, nobody bugs me. It's always great when people say, you know, hey, you know, how you doing? And it's, uh, you know, it's it's a pleasure. So if you had to choose between being rich and still being able to do art like you, like you do, but with no celebrity, would you take that rather than rich celebrity and doing art? Well, you know, the celebrity end of it is, is, is it's always flattering. That's why, I, you know, there are rare occasions, maybe when I'm with my five-year-old, that somebody's like, yo, dude, what have you been in? That's like, come on, I'm with my baby, you know. But, uh... I, it's it's never a hassle. It's never a bother. But you know, if I had to pick, you know, one of the three, I'd say, you know, you go for, go for go for the thing that makes your heart feel good, the art. Now uh -huh. throw a little money in there, and, and then you're really happy. Right, right. Okay. So uh, since you've been in Dallas, any other place other than the Y M C A that you, that you love that you just you'd recommend? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't had a bad meal since I've been here. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I love going to True Lux. I like Jake's, you know, burgers uh -huh. over on McKinney and. Nick and Sam's is, you know, uh, the coal vines, you know, is right around the mm -hmm. corner from where I live. And that's, you know, just a great atmosphere. And they got the, you know, Frank Sinatra playing and a nice pizza. And It's almost like we've done an issue of American Way magazine right here. <laughs> this is William Fickner's Dallas. So <laughs> anyway, the movie Amateurs, it, uh, yes, it, it opens. It opens on the 7th. It's going to be here. Uh, it's opening a very limited release. This film was made three and a half years ago. Uh, you know, for those of us that were involved with it and have never given up hope. It's had a really rough journey, but it's coming out. It's going to be playing uh, at yeah, Mockingbird Station at the Angelicus. Right. On the 7th, that evening, Jeff Bridges is coming to town to do a Q&A to introduce the film, I believe, at the 7 o'clock showing, and then we'll introduce the next showing after that. So come and see Jeff. He's just, you know, he's an amazing guy, and what an incredible actor, and, and he's never lost, you know. I mean, there's Jeff Bridges with this little tiny independent yeah. film, and and he's, he's there to the bitter end until we get it in a movie theater. Wonderful cast, uh, interesting movie, and I certainly appreciate you coming by. Anytime you want to stop by, Bill. Thank you. I appreciate it. Coming up next.